Hello there, my name is Matt Umlauf. I play the viola in the Virginia Symphony. And uh, today I want to introduce you to some technique that I use, that I teach students all across Hampton Roads when I'm able to visit their schools. In fact, I'm hoping maybe some of you have already interacted with me at your school, and maybe you've heard me say some of these things. I hope you have. And if you haven't, I hope you put them to good use. So the technique I really want to talk about today is how to be a good practicer. All right. I really have three simple rules that I follow when I practice to help me become a better player. So let's just go over them quickly, then I'll play something and demonstrate how they work. Number one small sections. Take a small part of that page, maybe eight bars. All right. Find the trickiest spot that you know of. Take that spot. Small sections. Number one. Number two, you want to play that many times without a mistake. It's not practice until you get it perfect. It's perfect practice until you can't play it wrong. Okay, so many times without a mistake. Number three, play as slow as you can to make no mistakes. I have this little rhyme. I say, as slow as it takes to make no mistakes. All right, so let's try it. We're going to start um, in, on the divertimento in D major. This is a piece that most of you can probably play, even if it's a little under tempo. That's okay. So divertimento in D major, K136, the presto movement. Now you can find this online on IMSLP or most most anywhere. It's easy to find. We're going to start in the third movement at bar 34 for about eight bars. Okay, so this is the viola part, but you can also follow along in other, if you're a violinist or a cellist or a bass player, you could follow along with that too. So let's begin. I'll, I'll demonstrate. Let me just play through the piece. Um, these eight bars, we're going we're gonna to play it first. Remember, we're going to play a section. We're picking those eight bars out. Number two, we're going to play it a few times without making a mistake. Number three, we're going to play it slowly. How slowly? As slow as it takes to make no mistakes. So here it is, under tempo. And maybe you can even try to play along with me. Okay, so there's one time. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think I make made any mistakes in there. I, I'm going to try to do this three times in a row with no mistakes. All right, so let's pick the tempo up just slightly because I know that I didn't make mistakes. Maybe I could go just a tad faster. Okay, here we go. One, and two, and... pretty happy with that as well. Why don't we pick it up? Let's go between that and performance tempo. About this. Da, da, de, da, de, da, da. So one and two and one and two and... Okay, so pretty good. Alright, so let me review. Number one, remember. Don't try to attack a piece. It's, it's very daunting to try to take on an entire page of music or two pages of music. Sometimes multiple movements of a piece. No, take it in small sections. Make a goal to, to, to learn eight bars. Even if you do that in one day, that would be great. Number two, take that small section. Practice perfectly that section many times until you can't get it wrong. Number three, this is maybe the most important. I have to remind myself of this often when I sit down to practice. Practice slowly, as slow as it takes to make no mistakes. I hope that some of this technique can be put to use by all of you out there. I promise you, if you do these three things, you're gonna become a much better player much faster. It's been a pleasure to instruct you today, and I look forward to maybe doing some more videos in the future and, and to be back in your schools uh, next year.